hello everybody this is dimple here again welcoming y'all back to my next tutorial on android framework components so in my previous uh, video we had seen the concept of device tree in android so we saw what is a device tree what are the advantages and importance of device tree how we can reuse the same file so device tree is represented in the form of dot dtsi files so device tree is nothing but it contains the hardware information hardware details of your android Android device earlier all this information used to be stored in the for uh, used to be stored by the kernel itself which would be loaded by the bootloader uh, now in the later versions of Android device tree concept has been introduced which will store the hardware detail so if I am a phone manufacturer I can define a base a DTSI file which will have all the basic configurations and if I want different specifications the different DTSI files I can use different DTSI files I can create by using the same base.dtsi file so uh, today we will see uh, what is the syntax of device tree format how the hardware mapping will happen okay so uh, every device tree every hardware uh, root will have this slash okay so and every uh, device we know should have cpu and memory so these two components are the main important mandatory components the other uh, hardware related drivers are optional it's left to the device manufacturer so here we have root and the model name is written and the compatible compatible will tell uh, which is the driver driver my android device is compatible with so here i have cpu under cpu i have cpu 1 cpu 2 okay so like that i can start uh, um, generating a tree format so this is the one dtsi file okay this column whatever you see cpu memory uart so this is defined in one dtsi file okay you can think this as base dot dtsi file and using this base i create another uh, device which have two cpus okay so this is uh, cpu dot dtsi i can tell so this cpu dot dtsi file here i should do hash include of base dot dtsi file so this file will be included here okay so suppose uh, i uh, develop another device where i say that device should have uh, four cpus okay so quad cpus that time what i will do i will generate another uh, tree here but in that quad cpu i will use hash include of this base dot dtsi file so my quad cpu will include the specific configurations related to that device as well as the basic configurations it's like um, it's like heredity like uh, the child will inherit the properties of the parents also so child will have its own properties plus it will have the generic properties of the parent it's it's like that in simple words so every uh, device which i create with specific configuration you can imagine as a child and the child will always include its specific properties plus the properties of the parent uh, so it was something like this so this is the syntax uh, the block will be starting with forward slash and it will be um, encountered in the flower braces and it the block will be ended with a semicolon so all my cpu related one uh, cpu related information i can put here for example i said so every node will have this uh, different uh, blocks like for cpu i will create one block like this for memory i will create another block like this so every piece of hardware whatever is present on my device is represented in a block okay so this is the sample syntax uh, this is the so we can see here this is the root node which we will start and it's starting with a flower braces and ending with flower braces followed by a semicolon and this is the node name and this is the unit address where that node is present uh, this is the property name the different property 
series if i include cpu i can define the temperature uh, the ram consumption all such properties so properties and obviously the values of those properties okay thermal if i include uh, should i enable or disable those values i can add so and all this will be properties of node 0 okay cpu 1 if i take example of node 0 all the properties of my first cpu that is cpu 1 will be defined here and the child nodes will be again included with within the same node okay um yeah that's it and in the child node we can see it's referring to node 1 that means node 1 is here it's it's referring to another node okay so the label is here node 1 so when this code is executed when the execution comes to this line the control will jump from node 1 to here because uh, that is like a label it's something like go to label okay so this part of code will be executed so this is the specific properties related to child 1 so this is just a sample syntax and this one we call it as the p handle that means it has a reference to another node this is the label name it will be mapped here again this is a sample example always uh, we will include compatible string what that compatible string will tell it is the one which is mainly used to bind a device with the driver okay uh, to help the device communicate with the exact hardware driver we use this compatible string so here we this is how we define compatible we have defined this is the soc here and the data and the different components yeah so in this video i have just showed the syntax of the dtsi files in my next video i will be taking one example and i will be uh, running through the code flow i hope this was informative and helpful Thank you everyone I'll meet you all soon in my next tutorial until then everyone take care stay safe bye